Ex-Vatican advisor faces trial after claiming he could cure gay men by having sex with them. Bringing you a new story that could only come out of the Catholic Church with just the levels of uh, uh, depravity and also hypocrisy and also what? Um, Tony Annatrella, an 80-year-old French psychotherapist, a Catholic priest, and a former Vatican advisor, has been plagued by allegations of sexual abuse for at least 20 years. In 2006, Daniel Lamarca went public with his claims of sexual abuse by Anatrella in an interview with Dutch newspaper Netherlands Bogblad, Dogblad. He said the priest told him that he could cure him of his quote-unquote pseudo-homosexuality by having sex with him. Two more anonymous accusations from previous patients of Anatrella also surfaced in 2006, but they were dismissed due to the statute of limitations and a lack of evidence. Anatrella also claimed that gay people had a whole host of problems, including a, quote, narcissistic position in front of a community that disturbs, even to the point of dividing it, end quote. He encouraged protests against same-sex marriage in France in 2013. Finally, according to the National Catholic Reporter, the French, uh, no, the Paris, Ar the Paris Archdiocese has confirmed that Anatrella will face trial in a church court. So I hope that he's brought to trial or his uh, psychotherapy license is stripped from him because um, he's just really violated the ethics of being a health practitioner by suggesting um, having sex with his patients. I mean, that's absolutely, you do not ever do that. And the fact that people have also, um, other people have, you know, uh, charged him with uh, sexual abuse. So I hope not only does he face charges within the catholic church but if he has a license he's a licensed psychotherapist hope that he gets brought up on malpractice charges i hope they strip him of his license and he all should should be charged in criminal court if sexual abuse abusing people sexually is against the law then you need to be tried in criminal court um is he actually making what's his quote unquote logic here? Like, is he making the argument that I'm so ugly that once you sleep with me, you would never want to sleep with another man ever again? Is that his uh, point? No, but I like your take oh. on it. <laughs> like, oh, that's like, one way. To that's kind of what I was thinking too. Okay. It's, the, what is his he, argument? What is his argument? Would, if that's not a just do the age-old creepy um doing body therapy aversion like, therapy or no something. like like he would use his body to cure their body with his like hands the and... laying on of hands and other extremities yes in <laughs> a way that was also is that actually what he said or is like do you guys know he Wait, does it's say a, body therapy but i want to point out that there was another allegation of abuse and this person was a former patient who was 14 years old so uh, it's not just adults it's a pederast yeah uh, it's really bad and it, it's just this i don't know how there are individuals like this for example in 2005 tony anatrella was a key advisor to the vatican on the banning of gay men from the catholic priesthood like he a lot of i mean granted i'm just looking at his wikipedia so the highlight reel is almost exclusively in regards to same-sex marriage and homosexuality like in calling it like more damaging than Marxist ideology. Like this is, his, I don't know. Uh, just this kind of stuff drives me crazy. Like when people use their own 
deeply internalized like trauma to then really screw up someone else's life because they can't just be honest with themselves and do the work to be okay with that. Also, um, homosexuality is not a disorder according to modern psychological and, and psychiatry standards. It's not a disorder. Now, he can have his Catholic views, which are reprehensible. Which but, is that it is objectively disordered. Right. In their language. But as a psychotherapist, not only is he violating the ethics of his profession, he's also not adhering to the standards of his profession as a psychotherapist. Um. I just want to highlight the fact that there is nothing in Christianity that teaches this, right? I would just want to be fair here. However, I still blame Christianity for creating environments where these things are protected and also behavior like this keeps popping up um, in religious institutions on a per capita basis, more average than other people, in religious environments, um, immunity from sin because of, uh, well, I mean, being able to wipe out sins through religion, uh, feeling like you have moral authority to decide what's right and wrong, and creating an environment where people trust you with, um, based on credentials that doesn't shouldn't be making you trustworthy. Religion in those ways gives rise to situations like this. So even though there is nothing within scripture uh, that excuses this like people want to defend christianity they could point out that christianity doesn't teach that this is allowed uh, however indirectly religion is still uh, responsible for encouraging behavior like this uh, through the things that i mentioned right so i just want to be fair because a lot of people are like oh my god this is like uh, christianity and like well if you read the bible there's nothing in the bible that says you can have sex with people and make them not gay but again, I still blame religion because of the things I mentioned. All very cogent points. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today and we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week so make sure to subscribe link in the description below